Nick, Adam, and Lizzie for Gas Station Garbage. This is our intro. This is our title. <laughs> we are at the Kenjo Market in West Knoxville. Yes. Um, we have gotten a lot of suggestions to try this, and so we're finally here and we're finally doing it. Kenjo makes a three foot sandwich called the Super Granddaddy. Um, this is what it looks like when it's half, because this, Lizzie and I are we're, we're petite. The first thing that I thought of when I saw these on the on the little cooler was it reminded me of the Cheech and Chong movie Up in Smoke, where <laughs> yeah. they have the big dog poop joint. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of because it's so comically gigantic. They wrap it very nicely. Though. Yeah, it for is. Sure. I'm wondering if that's maybe done off-site and these Could are be. shipped probably. in. Yeah, they're probably pulled in on a refrigerated truck. Bologna, salami, ham, bologna? and yeah. something else. I'm not a big bologna fan. Me neither. For full disclosure. Oh, oh, Lizzie went ahead and broke hers open. Yeah. But it's saran wrap. She got a hoagie. Oh, that's good. Hoagie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, it. <laughs> me, and Nick are, me and Nick are going to lady in the tramp. <laughs> <laughs> Just frame it up. Here's my first impression, and this this discourages me right out of the gate. This reminds me of those boring sandwiches they give you on airplanes when you're sitting uh, in coach. You guys didn't get any condiments. They didn't have any condiments. There were no condiments. Yes, that I saw. This is what it looks like. Am I <laughs> underwhelmed? <laughs> Probably. Aww. Come on, Kenjo. You that can't. That's not baloney. You can't call something super. You can't call something super and then come with that. That's, that's it, that's too. Bullshit. Wait, this is that's bullshit. Cra that's crazy. I'm not a huge Subway fan, but if you're going to pay $5 for a foot long, and again, I, I get it. This is $5 for a three foot long. It is a gas station food. But I feel like for a $5 12 inch sandwich at Subway, you're getting like three times as much meat. And that makes no sense to me right now. This sandwich is 80% bread. So far, right now, this guy showed up to the interview and he's wearing sweatpants. <laughs> this is how I feel. This is uneatable. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> mm. It tastes like bread and cheese. It tastes like bread. I'm done. I'm ready to rate. This bologna's pale. That's... Bologna. Yeah, that's bologna. Oh! I'll drop the bread. Okay. <laughs> that's falling apart now, too. It's nothing but bread. It's not good. That is the most unflavorful salami I have ever eaten in my entire life. The big one was six forty nine, and then uh, and then you could get two halves for three twenty five, so the same price. I went in actually excited. I've never had a granddaddy sandwich. BP used to advertise these as as a as a draw. Come in, try the super granddaddy sandwich. It's got all the meats. Um, which they stopped subsequently, you know, a few years ago, which I can now see why evidently cost-cutting measures have reduced this to essentially a gigantic piece of bread uh, with 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 meats that all taste like bologna and cheese with no flavor. Let's let's talk about the ratio of meat to cheese. I'm thinking like 25 I'm thinking like 10% meat, 20% cheese, 70% bread. Good quick math. Nice. That was hard. Yeah, yeah, I would have had a stroke just then. I would have beefed that one hard. Mm. I was actually kind of excited about this. I know, me too. And um, and boy howdy, um, was I wrong. You know, when we did the boar's head sandwiches, mm. which was one of our earlier endeavors, there was a pile, there was an entire like bucket of condiments to add to it and stuff. So, and you know what, now that I think about it, was that boar's head sandwich not the same price as this half it sandwich? It was $3.99. Yeah. It was $3.99, and it didn't have any vegetables on it either, but the quality alone of the uh -huh. boar's head, I guess it's the meats and the cheeses yeah. and the freshness of it all, exceeds this by a mile. Mm -hmm. Here at Gas Station Garbage, we rate everything on our patented scale of 1 to 10 Gordon Ramsay's. Is there anything else that we can say about this before we deliver Lizzie, our resident nutritionist and dietitian. Lizzie, do you have any comments in regards to the health aspects of this sandwich? Uh, don't eat processed meat. There it is. I can't really think of a redeeming thing to say about this. There's a lot of it. Maybe maybe that. But again, you're paying the same price as you would for something you know that would be equally as good. I'm going two Gordon Ramsay's. This wow, is one okay. of my lowest ratings thus far. Mm -hmm. Incredibly disappointing, especially for a marquee food. I think they, they have these things like on the signs and stuff, like advertising. I, I would bury this stuff. This is not great. It's all bread. It's like dry freezer burn, freezer tasting bread. 
The meats have little to no flavor. Uh, the cheese is texture's not even that great on the cheese. I, honestly, this is the most disappointing sandwich I've ever had in my entire life. Um, one Gordon Ramsay. Wow, Sorry, there it is. BP. Boom. Sorry, BP, but you 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 made your bed. And now you have to lie in it. One Gordon Ramsay. Lizzie. I give it two. Two. Yeah, two Gordon Ramsays. The bread fell apart as soon as I touched it. Um, the, I'm not a huge fan of deli meat, but what was on there was super thin. You couldn't really taste it. it just tastes like salt and cheese and bread that falls apart. To quote you, meat's meat. Meat, meat is meat. Salty meat. Salty meat. <laughs> it's true. That's true. Uh, Unimpressive. Sorry, guys. Uh, you know, I guess better us than you. Yeah. Can't You can't um, win them all. They can't all be winners. You that's can't right. knock them all out of the park. Please make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and then catch us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash gas station garbage. Or you can just put gas station garbage in either of the search fields. We'll show up. We're the only gas station garbage out there. So. And as usual, if there's something that you want to see, put it in the comments. If there's some place you want us to go, put it in the comments. We will seek it out. That's the funnest part of this is when we don't have to do the work to find a place. Okay. Thanks yeah, for watching. Yes, thank you. Bye. Find a garbage can. <laughs>